With Band in a Box 2018, the Audio Chord Wizard, or ACW for short, has been redesigned and is now built into Band in a Box. Previously, the Audio Chord Wizard was a separate app and not tightly integrated into Band in a Box. This app is still available from the ACW Toolbar button, but the improved built-in Audio Chord Wizard can be accessed from the Audio Edit window. The Audio Chord Wizard has two main purposes. One, it can take an audio file, for example an MP3 or M4A file of your favorite song, and line it up in Band in a Box so that as it plays, the bar lines in Band in a Box match the actual bars of the song. And two, it can actually figure out the chords of that song, so the chords from the song display in Band in a Box as it's playing as well. This makes it an incredible practice tool. You can take an audio file of your favorite song and use the Audio Chord Wizard to have it display like that in Band in a Box, and then you can practice along with it in Band in a Box. Or even add Band in a Box real tracks or other instruments into the mix. So I'll take you through the steps here with a song file I have, a pop rock version of the old folk song, O oh Shenandoah. I'll disable the style itself because right now we just want to hear the audio we imported. So we don't want it generating tracks that right now would be playing out of sync and playing the wrong chords. So now if I open the audio edit window, we can see the waveform of our audio and we can play it to hear. Now you can see in the chord sheet that it's obviously not synced up at all. So the first step is to get that synced up. There are a few ways you can do this. The first is to actually manually enter bar lines in the audio edit window. If we listen and watch a bit of this, we can see on the waveform where the bar lines should match up with the music. So first we can set the marker mode to audio chord wizard which brings up a new line with the ACW icon and some new menu items. And the first item is Add Bar Line. So we can add a bar line here where the music starts by clicking the Add Bar Line button. That puts a purple line on the waveform, and you can see it also has a little handle so you can move it around to get it exactly where it should be. And as I listen, I can tell that this is the second bar, so I'll add one there, too. And now with just the first and second bars designated, that already has the effect that it's going to line things up if we play it in the chord chart. But of course we still need the remaining bars. We could just continue on like that, entering bars manually, but it might take a fairly long time to go through an entire song, adding them all by clicking on them one by one. But now that we've added these, we've essentially given Band in a Box enough info for it to figure out how to continue automatically. So we could turn on Auto Marking. And we can see that it's filled in all of the remaining bar lines for us. And if we go back to the chord chart, we can see it's now lined up correctly. In the audio edit window, we can see that the bar lines we specifically designated are purple, but the ones that the audio chord wizard interpreted are turquoise, which is useful information for us to have. But of course, it's not showing us the chords, so I can now either click here to analyze or turn on auto analysis, which is what I'll do. It just takes a few moments to figure out the chords, and it has now figured out the chords for us. Now, if we look a bit further into the file, we can see that it's a little bit out of sync. Most recorded songs wouldn't necessarily have been recorded to a click track, so there might be slight fluctuations in tempo from the start to finish, which is all part of real, human-made music. This particular song, for example, speeds up a little bit throughout the performance. Well, that's no problem. If I just move one of the bars further on in the file a little bit to line up with the music, all of the previous bar lines automatically adjust themselves as well. And if I do that in just a few places throughout the file, we can get it nearly perfect with very little effort.
And when I do this, it only adjusts the automated bar lines. When I move one of the lines, which turns that line from turquoise to purple, the other turquoise line, since the previous purple line, adjusts slightly, but it doesn't move the last purple line I entered, which is good, because that's exactly where I wanted that to be. So now it's pretty much perfect, and I can navigate through the song itself right in the chord chart. I can enter part markers to indicate the form of the song. And if I click near the beginning, we can see the tempo goes between 85 and 86, indicating that it was likely played somewhere between 85 and 86 beats per minute. If I click around bar 53, we can see the musicians have sped up a little bit by this point, and it's now showing 87 or 88, indicating that the tempo now is likely partway between 87 and 88 beats per minute. The other way you can get the bar lines entered is to tap them in, which is what I'm doing right now. The song is playing, and on my computer keyboard, I'm tapping L at each bar line, which enters a bar line. And we could do this for the entire song, or like before, we could do it for just the first little bit, and then let the auto marking do its thing after that. But I'll return to the file we made earlier. So now, this is a great way we could learn this song. Another thing we could do is add some real tracks to it. We disabled the style earlier, but we could re-enable it. Now, the style I was using was just the basic metronome style, so there were no real tracks in it, which is actually perfect, so I can add a few a la carte. This song itself already has drums, but maybe I'll put one of the new percussion effects loops introduced with Band in a Box 2018 into it. Maybe a rain stick, which will play in the background for the first few bars. And maybe a pedal steel, say the new Country Eddie 12 key real track. And here's another fun thing we could do with this song, now that we've got the chords entered. We could turn on the Guitar Tutor to display simple folk chords while the song played. Which we could also show in notation along with tab. And we could even save that notation along with the song as a video. And upload it to YouTube as our own custom-made guitar tutorial video. We hope you enjoy the newly designed Audio Chord Wizard in Band in a Box 2018.